Although they make up 13.4% of our country's population, Black Americans own just 1% of rural land nationwide. At the start of the 20th century, one in seven farmers in the United States was Black. Now, Black farmers make up just 1.3% of all farm producers. Welcome to Against the Grain, a series presented by Grace Farms Foundation that explores organizations working at the intersection of impact and innovation to fix our food systems. I'm Karen Kariuki, your host and the Foundation's Community Initiative Director. Since opening Grace Farms, we've been providing food relief to our communities. But as food insecurity soared during COVID, we wanted to do more to help. Join us on this hopeful journey in search of solutions to fix our food systems. Soul Fire Farm is one of the organizations doing just that. Located in upstate New York, but with national reach and impact, Soul Fire Farm is committed to ending racism and injustice in the food system. With deep reverence for the land and wisdom of our ancestors, they grow healthy food for their community and bring diverse communities together to share skills, train the next generation of activist farmers, and strengthen food sovereignty. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Cheryl Wilby, Soul Fire Farms Communication Director, to discuss how they are driving important conversations around race and our food systems. Over 98% of farmland is um, controlled and operated by white farmers, specifically white men. So part of the reason that Soul Fire is doing this work is to work to reverse that narrative. We want to see more black and brown farmers owning land and having agency in the food system. There are black and brown community members who have limited access to fresh fruits and vegetables, really nutritious food, and communities that are predominantly white have this access, they have this choice. Uh, food apartheid, as we call it, our co-directors um, and co-founders, Leah and Jonah, their community that they were living in at the time in the South End of Albany in 2010, their community members found out that, you know, Leah and Jonah know how to farm. Like they have an agricultural background and the community was kind of like, hey, y'all have this knowledge, you know how to grow. Why don't you grow food for your people? Why don't you start a farm for us? So they went to Grafton, New York, and found this less than desirable, marginalized land. Like, it was just rocky, and people told them that they could never grow anything on it because it's just not ideal soil. And they did the years required of restoring the soil and getting the inf infrastructure together to be able to have Soul Fire Farm. And here we are today. The farm was really founded with the idea in mind of being able to feed our people. They started with a sliding scale CSA, a community supported agricultural program that was accessible to everyone, whether you were paying full freight, using BT SNAP benefits, or even if you just didn't have the money to be able to pay at that time. You know, we weren't gonna turn you away. It was about feeding our people and making sure that we had this life-giving food that's so important for our, our growth and our sustainability. What really struck me about so many of Soul Fire Farms programs is how they go into the community. Their sliding scale CSA has now turned into solidarity shares, a no-cost doorstep delivery of fresh vegetables, fruits, and other items to people living under food apartheid in the Albany Troy area. And aside from just food, they're bringing farming into these communities as well. Through their Soul Fire in the City program, they are building raised beds and container gardens for community members and groups. With Soul Fire in the City, yes, we are building the raised beds, but we are also providing the seedlings, the soil, the follow-up support that's needed. If folks are having issue with their kale and it's wilting, we're not just gonna leave them out there alone to figure it out. We will have a phone call with them or email and provide resources to support them. What started as a mission to feed the people of Leah and Jonah's community has grown to encompass so much more. 
Soul Fire Farm offers immersion trainings in both farming and building, and they have created virtual workshops, sharing skills for specific agricultural techniques shaped by Black and Indigenous innovation. And they are encouraging us all to take a closer look at racism in our food systems. Our goal right now is in 2050, we want to see 100,000 farms being stewarded by Black farmers um, on 10 million acres of rural and urban land. It's just going to take us getting more people involved in the movement, not just Black, Indigenous, people of color, but also white allies and folks just realizing how important it is for Black and brown people to have agency in the food system and for us to really reclaim our collective right to belong to this land. Together, we have an opportunity to redesign a food system absent of racism and oppression. Together, we can work towards a racially just food system that is inclusive, empowering, equitable, and transformative. To support the work and vision of Soul Fire Farm, we encourage you to take four actions. First, uphold everyone's right to land. Support land trusts and land collaboratives that foster inclusion. Second, honor the people who grow our food. Look for ways to foster a living wage and provide healthcare and labor protections to the farm workers who feed us. Third, eliminate food apartheid. Communities of color have less access to life-giving healthy food, resulting in high rates of obesity and diabetes. Supporting actions that boost community control are part of the answer. Fourth, support farmers of color. Access to education and startup funding remain barriers for aspiring farmers of color. Support programs that meet the scale of this challenge. If this story of innovation and impact inspires you, please share it. The more we educate ourselves about the food systems we rely on and those working to fix them, the more we can come together to find innovative solutions. Thank you for joining us and our efforts to create a more efficient, more equitable, and more just food system.